Welcome to Stories That Matter. I'm your host, Doug Thompson, with my special guests, Ermel and Paula Williamson, and they are in uh, Branson as we talk to them today. Welcome, you guys. Good to see you. Thank you. You too. Great to and be I'm here. Good. Well, and we appreciate having you here. I know you guys have been in Arizona for a while, and uh, you've been bouncing back and forth between Branson and, and uh, work that you do in uh, Arizona, but right now you're back in Branson, right? Yeah, right. If we get a plane going back to Arizona right now, we'll be on it. <laughs> it's cold up here. Oh, it's fair weather. I get it. It's if it's nice in Arizona, you're going to go there. If the weather gets nice in Branch and you're coming back, well, you can always get that private plane. Plane you got. Yeah. Well, listen, we want to talk to you a little bit about your show in uh, Branson. And, of course, uh, Ermel, off to your left, uh, off to your right, Paula, is uh, John Wayne. And uh, he's been John Wayne for many, many years. And, uh, Ermel, tell me a little about that. Well, <laughs> it's kind of, it happened kind of accidentally. Uh, I was doing Gary Cooper at the time. And uh, a couple of directors came up to me. We were in a bar sitting there and so forth. They says, you look like John Wayne. I said, no, John Wayne's 10 feet tall on the screen. He said, no, you look like John Wayne. So they got an outfit for me, put me out there with uh, MTV. And uh, a seven foot bouncer came over and said, uh, whoa, you're my hero. I thought he was going to toss me out. I said, do I look like John Wayne? He said, you are John Wayne. So from there on in, I became John Wayne. And so that's what you're doing in Branson. You and Paula are performing where in Branson? We're at the Hot Hits uh, Theater, downtown Branson. Okay. And we're there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at uh, 2 o'clock. And who else is on the program with you guys? Well, the Platters are there. Uh, Motown is there. There's a guy doing Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye? Yes. He impersonates <laughs> him and several other people. Well, I didn't mean to confuse the viewers that all of you are on the stage at the same time. They're just performing at the same theater, and so not at the same time as you guys are there. Right. Right. And so, Paula, I know that you are an amazing singer. Tell me about it. Well, we're going to, this show is going to feature, it's called Patsy to Patsy. It features Patsy Montana to Patsy Klein. Most people don't even know who Patsy Montana is anymore, and it's a shame. Because she is the lady who wrote, I Want to Be a Cowboy Sweetheart, back in 1935. She was the first woman in history to ever sell a million copies of a song. She did that as a woman in a man's world because back then only men were cutting singles. She did that with a yodeling song of all things. And she also did that on the Billboard pop charts because Western didn't have charts and there was not such a thing as country music back then. So, you know, she was an amazing lady and great yodeler. And then she also is the one inspiration for Patsy Cline. Patsy Cline got all her, her costume ideas. Uh, they both wanted to be a Western yodeling cowgirl. And Patsy Cline could actually yodel, but she was never allowed to yodel uh, because country music wasn't looking for a yodeler at that time. And so they had her singing. And I think if she had lived longer, I think she would have crossed over a lot more than just to pop music. I think she would have made it past country even. I think she would have wound up in singing some jazz and, and different other styles as well. She was just an amazing singer. So we yeah. do the first act is Patsy Montana. The second act is Patsy Klein. And, and so what does John Wayne here do? Well, does he introduce you? I am he. And he also comes out as John Wayne. You know, when we used to do the John Wayne and America's Yodeling Sweetheart show. I was a star. He was the whole two hours. And I said, you know, one man shouldn't be talking for two hours <laughs> if he's not got a script in his hand, you know. <laughs> so anyway, now he's doing just little snippets in between the characters that I'm doing. Good. So it, it's, it's a good of, show. It's a really good show. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's a good show. You guys always put on a good show. And while we were talking about yodeling, Paula, you are probably the top in the world. If not the top, you're in the top three of the world in yodeling. Thank you. And you have won. You went overseas and participated in competition. Let's see, was that in, I forget, was it in Korea or was it in Japan? South Korea. South Korea. 
Okay, well, yeah, I knew it wouldn't be in the North Korea, so South Korea, and you won that competition too. Well, it wasn't really a competition. What they do is they just bring, everybody brings the best that they have and, and performs, and it's, they call them festivals over there. Well, she is a mighty event. But, they have 2,000 yeah. other yodelers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've heard you many times, and maybe even when we finish this interview, maybe you'll have a chance to pick up the guitar and do a little bit for us as we as we exit on out of it. And so uh, you're in Branson and downtown theater, and uh, Paul, I'll give you the chance so that Ermel doesn't mess it up. What's the name of the theater? Hot Hits Theater. There you go. And uh, Close to the post office. Okay, and I know that it's a tough time in Branson. It's a tough time for all of the entertainers everywhere. As we shoot this, there's a winter storm coming through your area where you're at in Branson through our area, and so there's not many people out traveling, but uh, hopefully this weather will break, and what will happen then is that uh, those theaters will be full because you guys always put on a fantastic show. And we know you, of course, we're BDS, and this is Stories That Matter, but we know you guys from lots of areas, and, and uh, uh, Ermel here, of course, as John Wayne, has been in movies and television, and uh, every time that we've ever had you guys at a live production, it's, I think the people honestly believe that you're John Wayne. They think this, well, John Wayne came to see me. One and, guy uh, came to me uh, just a couple of weeks ago and says, you're more like John Wayne than John Wayne. <laughs> yeah, that, that's yeah, probably so true. John Wayne's dead. <laughs> So tell me, because you've been working on some other projects, I know uh, most people don't know this about you guys, but uh, you put out a number of books. Tell me about some of them. Talk to him. I'll get books over here. He first. has 10 books now. He has a brand new series uh, coming out. This it, it came out last year, but it's uh, this is his Western series. I, I wrote the title song for the, for the um, theme song for the trailer that we did. It's called Across the Brazos. It's the Brazos series. Pull it up just a little higher. Put it up just a little higher there now and move your fingers back a little and we can see the title clearly. Got it, okay. And uh, Ermel, you guys have written these yourselves. Yes, he wrote them. I'm, I'm his editor, but anyway, that has nothing. To do. You're more than the editor. You're more than the editor. You contribute into that, yeah, to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. Especially for the Carol Bell Wright series. Uh, uh, this one is about the man who put Branson on the map. Yeah, Harold Bell Wright. Branson, Harold Bell Wright. How Branson came about. And when we started getting into his story, there is so much history in his story. And there's so much more than just Branson about his story. It's what what's so ironic is he was also in Tucson, Arizona. And we went down to and filmed a whole little uh, spot uh, where he uh, used to live out in Arizona. And most people, again, have forgotten him as well. And it, it's just a shame because we have so many, you know, good people that did so many things and we're forgetting them. Well, and, and I appreciate the fact that you guys are doing the books. How can the people get the books if they say, well, I want to go to your website, pick it up and... Uh, uh, to see what's there and then order it. How do they do that? Just go to ermal.com. Ermal.com. Yeah, E-R-M-A-L.com. Okay. Right. We will put that up on the screen as we finish up this uh, segment, and we'll put it up there on the screen so that they can go right to your website, order it directly from you. If they order it directly from you, Ermal, they'll be able to get it autographed, won't they? Yes, uh, you can uh, get me at duke at ermal.com. Okay, That's, uh, email. awesome. Duke, D-U-K-E, at Ermal, E-R-M-A-L, dot com. Okay. You can also, from our website, link over and see some of the other things that we do. There's, uh, so, uh, right now, there's only photos of the CDs on there right now. Um, I was having a problem with uh, uh, somebody was trying to uh, jump in on my website and, and give me a bunch of blurb stuff, so... Uh, so right this minute, it's that part of it's down. But, so you can't order the CDs right now, but you can see which ones they are and still contact us at dukeadermal.com or paula at yodellady.com. But uh, okay. when I did that, I didn't realize no one in the world knows how to spell yodel. So <laughs> Y-O-D-E-L-L-A-D-Y. Two L's, but anyway. 
Okay. See, that's why you have to help him. That's why you have to help. Okay, we'll send the people to the website, and they can get CDs from you. They can order your books, and uh, thank you guys so much for what you're doing. We're happy to have you back in Branson and look forward to seeing you there. Also, we are going to have a special deal on tickets, too. I was working with our theater, and wherever you buy the first ticket, if you're from out of town, after that, if you save the stub for our particular show, you can come back throughout. It's kind of an audience builder for the year. And so, because this is our first year back in Branson, and so uh, we're going to work with our theater, and they said, if you'll save the, the ticket stub from then on throughout the rest of the season, you can come back for a local price, which is like $13 or $15, 13 with tax. So it's a really good deal. It is a good deal because the, the locals there in, yeah, the locals in Taney County, of course, get the uh, discounted rate because they pay taxes for it and so forth. And, and I think that's great. That's good of you guys to do that. Well, Paula, grab your guitar. Grab your guitar. We'll work our way out. And uh, uh, Ermel, thank you so much for you guys taking time to visit with us today. We look forward to seeing you in Branson. We know it's always a good show. And we'll send the people to your website so they can order the books because they are very, very well written and well researched. Hey, good job, good job. You guys take care. Yes. All right. Thank See you, you guys down the road. Thanks for watching Stories That Matter.